Hey there, I'm Andrea Olson with Go Diaper Free, and this is me recording podcast number 75, how to begin elimination communication, a little recap of how to start EC at each age and stage. Uh, at the end, I will ask you to comment below with some questions you might have, um, but the show notes are going to be over at godiaperfree.com forward slash 75. If you want to enjoy the conversation there, get the free easy start guide, stuff like that. Okay, so I'll see you at the end. Here we go. Welcome to the Go Diaper Free Podcast, where we're all about helping you stop depending on diapers as early as birth. I'm your host, Andrea Olson, author and mom of five babies, all e-seed from birth, all out of diapers by walking. This is episode 75, how to begin elimination communication, a little recap of how to start EC at each age and stage. You can read the written version of today's show, the full written version, over at godiberfree.com forward slash 75, just in case you get interrupted by cute little faces during this show. I will also conveniently link to all the things I mentioned in today's episode over there, and I reply to comments over there. So come on by when you're finished and ask me questions. All right, so today we are going to address something you may have heard me talk about before many multiple times, many, many times (laughs) in many different ways, and I'm going to talk about it today in a little different way this time, how to begin EC at each age and stage. We're going to go through this relatively quickly today and very, very simply so you can get sort of a new glimpse of what starting EC can look like and feel way less intimidated to start if you haven't already or if you've only partially begun, maybe this will help, or maybe you've half-assed it so far. You know who you are. Maybe this will help you too. The first thing we're going to do when we start EC or get recommitted to EC is have a paradigm shift in our minds. Okay, from now on, you will need to shift your culturally ingrained perspective of diapers as full-time toilets to the diaper is now a backup for when we miss one another, when we aren't doing EC right now, when we are skipping every other pee, for example, or when too much is going on like I am making dinner. Or if we're being honest, we're going to have that diaper backup on for when we are being lazy. Even if you're just testing out EC to see if it's for you, please, please, please re-envision the diaper as a backup, even if you never do EC beyond your first tries. Even if you end up doing early potty training at 18 months instead, which I do have a resource for on my website, you will have a much easier time if you keep your brain in this new frame of mind. Please see the diaper as a backup, not a full-time toilet, from today onward, listen to my episode that's all about the brief history of diapers, just to see that it was only ever a backup up until disposables were invented in 1961. All right, so now after making that paradigm shift before starting EC, let's look at some highlights for, for each age and stage, followed by some brief starting tips and make it really easy today. So first we've got newborns. The secret to success with EC and newborns is to take advantage of the wake up pee, you guys. It is our easy catch number one, in case you didn't know. Newborns sleep all the time. Newborns are mammals who emit a hormone to stay dry during sleep. When a newborn wakes up, this hormone wears off and she needs to pee. Take her diaper off, hold her over the sink or receptacle like a newborn top hat potty from tinyandies.com. Make the sound of running water or grunt like a quiet gorilla. <clears throat> or do the sound of running water. Gently support her head and body against your torso because we all know we got to be careful at those ages. Holding her with your hands under her thighs in the classic EC position. There's a photo of it over on the blog post, um, godiperfree.com forward slash 75. Um, Or try the classic cradled EC position if your baby cries or feels uncomfortable in the classic position. This is often really good for babies who have a little bit of colic. And there's an image of the cradled easy position over on the site as well on this post then nurse your baby after he's gotten the chance to relieve himself first this causes feedings to go much more smoothly and they get more fully fed and who wants to be wet or soiled during a feeding not me and neither does your baby so the cycle is wake potty tunity nurse a tiny bit of awake time potty tunity before napping nap and repeat all day long all night long because this is a newborn. This is the best time to start EC, hands down. And that's basically what I just summarized as the baby care cycle. It's a really great way to insert EC from the get-go with a pre-mobile newborn baby, basically up to the time when they start to get mobile. Now let's talk about mobile babies. The key with mobile babies is to limit naked diaper-free time unless you have uncarpeted floors. We want to use tiny trainers 
or a sumo style diaper to do observation. And we will know instantly when the baby is wet. So during observation, we're going to modify things by using something. I recommend the aqua blue color of the tiny trainers at tinyandies.com for the ease of seeing the wetness immediately. It's just a great color for that. Purple is also good. Write down on your log when baby goes after waking or feeding and keep track for a few hours a day until you see some signals or rhythm to the whole thing. You can grab my observation log over um, at the show notes post at godiberfree.com forward slash 75. It is free. You could download it and print it out. And then lastly, young toddlers. Here's my tip for them. With young toddlers, i.e. they are walking now, you'll want to keep in mind the tips that I just shared about tiny trainers or sumo style and logging the rhythms and signals. But you'll also maybe want to add transporting them to the potty to the mix. So see my book in the excerpt for the hybrid plan for more on this, but essentially you're just going to do some naked observation time without trainers on, without a sumo diaper on, where you will bring the baby to the potty or the potty to the baby every time he or she begins to pee during that observation time. Again, grab the log that I mentioned over on the post for the tracking of each of these events. Now that we have a few keys under our belts, some first steps I'd like to recommend Here are some first steps. There are a few things that will help you start easily. So step one is to download my free easy start guide for EC. Go to godiberfree.com forward slash start. Grab a copy of it. It's totally free. Um, You will see a lot of the stuff I'm about to mention on that guide. There is also a little place to get it on the show notes as well. Then after you download that, do the following. Number one, start with the four easy catches if you're skeptical or you want to test this out. And I'll talk more about these in a second. The second one is start with observation to deeply learn your baby and learn the four roads to potty time. Number three, do one of those first to the other second, but I would do the four easy catches and the observation in whatever order. Number four, we're going to insert tiny habits into existing routines. Number five, we're going to dress for success. And number six, we're going to get the right potty. Okay, so these are the steps to starting EC, no matter really what the age is. Number one, start out with the four easy catches. If you're skeptical or you just want to test this out. On my easy start guide, you will see the four easy catches. You will see them everywhere I post content. They are so helpful. And you probably hear my baby out there. She's she's having a fussy moment. Um, Upon waking, at every diaper change, just the poops, and transition times. These are the four easiest times to offer a potty tunity to your baby, and it will really increase your odds at getting a catch. Now, a catch will build confidence at this starting stage, and you'll likely continue to explore EC with your baby because once you catch one, you usually don't want to ever turn back. Most importantly, your baby will be thrilled that you finally understood what he or she wanted you to do all along. So see my YouTube channel for a playlist of the four easy catches or on podcast episodes 28, 29, 30, and 32. Number two, Start with observation to deeply learn your baby and the four roads to potty time. You'll do observation with or without tiny trainers or sumo style diaper, and you'll see how often from waking or feeding your baby pees or poos. This is observation. You'll see if you notice any signals before they go. You'll get the hang of the rhythm and patterns, hopefully, and you'll also learn the four roads to potty time. These are number one, baby signals. Number two, baby's natural timing. How often do they go? Number three, generic or common timing, which is something that I cover more in my book. You'll just learn those. And number four, you're going to become aware of your your own intuition. Like, oh, I knew that she needed to go. So these are covered more in depth in my book, but essentially this is the learn your baby stage where you get to discover more and more about your baby's inner workings just by paying attention. It's pretty simple. Okay, now for number three. These are the first steps to help you start easily. Number three, or do one of those first, the other second. So after you've tried out the four easy catches, you can follow up with some observation time where you deeply are learning your baby. Or after you've done some deep learning with observation time, you can integrate the four easy catches into your day-to-day routines to help you find success with the practice. And at the very least, you will establish some very simple rhythms to your day. The point is, do both. It will beef up your practice, it will build your confidence, and it will help you stick with EC. And number four, I want to insert tiny habits into existing routines. We so spoke about this one last week on the last episode of this podcast. So please circle back and read or listen to it if you missed it. Um, it's go to everfree.com forward slash 74 or just go to iTunes and Spotify episode 74. Basically, 
We can create the new habit of pottying our babies when we're just starting out by just inserting tiny little trigger habits into existing routines. As I mentioned last week, we can habit stack. After I get baby out of bed, I will potty her. After I potty her, I will put a new diaper on her. After I put a new diaper on her, I will nurse her, etc. And we can set an implementation intention, which I talked about last week. When X occurs, I will Y. When I see a grimace, I will hold her over the toilet so she can poop instead of waiting to clean it up later. So see that episode, please. I'm not kidding. Do it now. We'll finish this first. And now for number five, just quick tips for starting. Dress for success, you guys. We want to reduce any friction for starting and keeping up with this new aspect of baby care. Dressing baby appropriately can only help. We're actually going to talk about the EC wardrobe next week in episode 76. So come back for that for sure. And lastly, number six, get the right potty. We also want to reduce friction for you and your baby both by choosing the correct potty for the stage and age your baby's currently in. So you can totally just use the sink or toilet. You can put a low stool in front of the toilet if you want to squat onto that while you hold your baby over the toilet. You can use any mixing bowl or you can use a top hat potty or a mini potty or toilet seat reducer. And I've got all those linked in the show notes. We will talk more about the power of the right potty in an upcoming episode, episode number 77. So come back for that one in two weeks, okay? All right, that's about it. I hope this has helped you wrap your head around how to begin EC in the smallest nutshell I could fit it. I want, I'm going to start going over a few things over the next few weeks where we are unveiling things I've already talked about, but in different ways, because everybody usually has the same little um, stuck points. For more help with this, start with my easy start guide. It's free. Then move on to my popular EC book, Go Diaper Free, or just start with that to create a pottying routine that you can actually stick to and that will bring you and your baby joy and diaper freedom. We don't know how to do this. We live in a diapering culture. It's just the way we were raised. So we kind of need to go sit down and learn this. Again, see the written version of this podcast over at godiaperfree.com forward slash 75. Head over and let me know what one thing are you going to do this week to start EC or make it better from what I've mentioned today. Put that over in the comments. I'll see you over there. Till next time when we unveil the EC wardrobe, happy pottying, you guys. I'm Andrea Olson, and you've been listening to the Go Diaper Free podcast at godiaperfree.com. And that is it, you guys. Please comment below what one thing are you going to do this week to start EC or make it better from what I've mentioned today. I look forward to seeing you there. Please subscribe and hit the bell, and I'll let you know when we have our next video. Take care. I'm Andrea from Go Diaper Free.